Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. Man, I'm enjoying this game and I'm hoping you're enjoying it too. If you are, please hit that like button, um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and leave your comments down below. Okay, um, in the last episode we started thinking about, well, we started connecting up these, um, these steel mill pieces and now we need to connect steel over here. But I also will have to get um, planks over here as well. Um, in order for us to get machines created. So we will be able to connect this up here. I'm kind of tempted that we just run it straight through there and then come kind of come and get, get our logs up here. But something that I find quite interesting about this whole situation is that I would very much like to um, get these two linked up and see how that works. What is that? That looks like a submarine. No idea. It's obviously not a submarine. Look at that. But it just kind of looked funny for a minute. Now there's new box cars, gondolas, flat cars and tank cars. Nice. And they're all pretty quick. So we can start seeing faster trains. It's the year 1900 and, the, and we are modernizing our transport infrastructure quite significantly. <laughs> if you believe that. Um, so the thing that I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and squeeze a road here. My idea is that if we can get... We can get a road. But no, come on. Ah, excellent. We can get a road. Yes. Trying to get a road that's going to be as closely linked here as possible. Um, okay, let's uh, let's try and link this road on this side also. Actually, what we need to do is we'll just need to tie it straight across here. Something like that. And then what we'll do is we'll link these two up over there. But at the same time, I'm kind of tempted to do a little bit of that and then run it straight out in this direction. Uh... I'm, I'm going to attempt something. I'm, I've no idea whether this will actually work. But just maybe, just maybe we're okay. Nice. I think that's exactly what we wanted to do. Now, what I want to see is if I put a station right here in the middle, can I actually pick up everything that I want to pick up here? Pick up there. Really? That seems so far. That's crazy that they don't want to. Don't want us. It's, oh, there's no connection here. I need to redo this little section. Let's uh, let's try that again. Well, we actually we don't need. All of this stuff, we just need to. Let's see about that, and then we'll see about. Oh, that's gonna kind of leave it out there. Okay, fine. Let's just do a little something like that. So it kind of looks like an even road. Now let's try that one more time. Oh, oh, yeah! There we go. That's brilliant. Now. Let's kind of, it's just from a, it's just, it's just not a great, can we see, Ooh. yeah, unfortunately, it's just not, ah, but if we do that, oh man, that's just crazy, if we do this, it's a little bit deep, hmm, I think this is about the right. That's way too much. We can't do that. This is about the right the right one for us. So if we do this. Let's say we do that, okay? I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm really hopeful that I can still do a bit of a road down here. Uh, 
There we go. There we go. Is it is it doing it? It doesn't seem to Okay, let's let's try this again. Is it picking it up or not? How can I oh, man? Oh, I don't want to waste money like this. I'm going to have to do this. Let's let's try it again. Oh, it's not actually picking it up over there. Maybe it's really tight. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Sorry, guys. I'm. Uh, this is a mess. This is a mess. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try and get it. Get it to 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 come to the level of this station. So if I put the station over here, right, right in the middle, and that is the direction we want to go. It and go go with it. So if I kind of put it, say right over there, man, that's a lot of money to be wasting around like this. Now, if I try and build the road afterwards, um, I'm hoping that that's going to be much better. Yes. So that's going to link us up straight away. Now I'm just going to have to trim that back a little bit so that we can tie that in there. So yes, that's a slightly more expensive way of doing it, but We've got one. No, you've got to be kidding me. I'm going to try something a little, a little different. Honestly. Is that going to work though? Because it's going to, it's going to remove that one. It's, that is so so similar though oh man let's let's what else can we do can we run it off of the side here and tie it in here somewhere is there anything like that we can do it just doesn't want to tie into another spot does it we're right on top of it and it just doesn't want to do it That is, honestly, oh, it's the collision piece. Uh, will that work? Let's try that. Oh, it's got the one. Still not got this one. It needs to be a little closer then. Can we get closer here? I don't think we can get closer here. It's really close though. It is really close. Am I going to really have to rebuild it again? Oh, man. Let's try one more time with this. And I know this must be boring like crazy. So I do apologize. Oh, we still got that one. We still don't have this one. So, man, I really wanted us to, to get this to work. That's really bad. Really bad. It's costing us so much money. To do to do nonsense like that. I see we need we need something that does it works a little bit better. There it is. Right? But why is it is it is it a matter that well let's try it. We're gonna leave it like that and see what's the situation here. Because I wonder if the game isn't not specifically not allowing you to do both of them. Because that is just that's just crazy. That's just crazy. I'm gonna want to ensure we have a little something in here as well so i'm going to add a station right here uh, but not the terminus one one of those guys we're going to flip it around like this uh, oops and i'm going to do use the shift and m and n keys to make it do a much more refined move which i like and we're going to do you know squeeze it in there nice so we can run from that one to this one into here potentially this one could turn in here and eventually offer us some stuff up here as well we want to get our oil production in here so this piece of line can become quite busy so i'm quite keen on on, on starting to add lines together so that we can see how that works so let's uh let's see how how best we can tie this in here i want to make sure but it is a pretty decent angle. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. We're gonna have pretty good 
um, pretty good st stuff going on there. So then you can run this section through there, and then we will, we're going to run it out over here to tie in there and then come make its way this way. So let's get our extra station right over here. <clears throat> Okay, so a little something like that. It's gonna be the case, and then we're gonna run it up here is 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 what we what we intend. Um, yeah, so we'll need to let's quickly demolish some of that so that we can actually connect them. So you my friend is going in that way. Um, you're going to run double track in that direction as well. Then what you're going to do is you're going to tie in here, um, but also there. So a little something like, uh, actually, no, that is not, is that, no. What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to double track a, a bigger section of this. So let's run that out. Uh, actually, we probably didn't need to demolish that section. So we'll tie that together and then we'll link up from here. Is that double track section? Yeah, it just, it just looks a little funny. We're going to run that um, a little more and then we're going we're gonna to tie it in like so. Yes, and now we're going to have a signal there and a signal there and a signal there and a signal here. Right, so that's how that one's going to work. I am similarly going to tweak this section here a little bit. Let's uh, let's do a little bit of that. Okay, let's redo that and see what we can come up with. I'm kind of keen. Uh, see, that is not quite the angle that I'm after. I want it to be smoother. So we'll redo that. Even that is not quite right. Maybe I'll, yeah, I think that's going to be okay. Let's let's leave it. Let's leave it like that. At the same time, we'll run that section over there, and then what we'll do is we'll tie this one around that corner, and we'll tie this one over here. Nice. So again, what we'll do is we'll just get our signals sorted out. So we've got one here, one there, and one there, and that's our signals should now be sorted out um, we probably will move these signals a little bit closer over there so I can get rid of this one I think this one's a little close to that interchange and that one probably also so let's uh, come on get rid of that guy okay so now it should still be running and now you can run straight through to this station over here so let's uh, let's extend this piece of line here to around there okay like so and then let's tie it in should be fine and now we'll get ourselves a bit of a signal right over there now now the question is do I think we just run it straight into this one over here and we're probably going to need to yeah let's just do that let's just run it straight into this one so tracks from this side, we're going to see about what this looks like. Is that kind of okay? Yeah, I'm comfortable with it. Let's run it like so. Um, and the other bit is that we're probably going to need to just make sure that we tie it into the other side also. So I'm going to just do something like that. So we can at least load that line. Um, through here okay so let's uh, let's see see about this so I'm now going to run that last piece up here okay and that one is a little a little wonky and we're going to double track it okay and then we're going to tie them together over there we're going to grab ourselves some signals we're going to plot one in there um, we're going to do there and ooh, we need to double track this section. Come on, where's the tracks? Uh, now let's double track it through there and into here. Good stuff. 
give me that guy over there. Um, so strictly speaking, this should now work and we should be able to get um, our lumber down here. Um, this is not going to be working just yet. And the fact that we're running through here could be problematic in the future, but we can also, I think we're going to have a bit of a line that comes up here and maybe just get, almost feeds into this side maybe. And then this is going to run that way. So this station might get pretty big. But anyway, we'll link it up like now, like that for now. So now let's uh, let's see about this guy. So we're going to pick up there and move it over here and back. And this is going to be the... Um, the okay, that's going to be the Jakarta, Jakarta Logs. Okay, so Jakarta Logs is going to be that one. And then we're going to run another line, sorry, from here to there. And that's going to be Jakarta Planks. Excellent. Now I can purchase two trains. I also need still need to purchase a train for this one. And then what we'll need to do is we'll need to run out into this direction to Sapporo. Oh, I've turned it around a little bit. What we'll have to do is we'll have to run out into this direction. And we could use, we could kind of use the same station, I think. Oh, are they? Yeah, I think this is okay. Look at that. Look at that. These guys are crazy. Anyway. We could kind of use the same station, I think. Uh, we just need to make sure that we add a bit of a cargo stop in there. That should be fine to do that. And then we can start feeding machines straight into there, um, which will do wonders for that little town. Uh, and let's maybe let's build it. Uh, well, let's keep running everything. So we continues to make money. Uh, and then we'll just run, run something in here. So I'm tempted to say, oh, actually, let's pause it so I can get rid of these get rid of all of that and I'm gonna configure this and we're gonna say well guys I would like you to please add add rail first or add platform first these platforms are pretty wide so I'm not gonna be able to why are you collision collisioning why I don't like it when you do the stuff like that. Let's do track first then. Track seems to be working. So let's do track. Let's do track like that. And then let's do platform again. Come on guys. What's the point of modular if you're, if you're not able to build it? And, I'm, and, I'm not, and there's nothing in there. It's maybe just a, a height difference or something. What are you colliding with? Can I do it on that side? Honestly, I can't. I can't. So what are you colliding with? Should I get out of this and terraform it a little bit? I could probably. Um, shall we do use the flatten tool? No, but you're gonna need to, oh, sculptor, use the terrain tool to change the terrain. Mm, interesting. Smooth the terrain. Okay, ah, that's the one I'm looking for. So if we smooth this terrain through here, I'm hoping that means that um, that we can now do a platform. So let's configure, grab ourselves one of these platforms. It's still doing the collision thing. Honestly, that's not um, at all what I had in mind. Shall I remove? I don't think the removal of any of these buildings is going to do the trick. But let's try it. If I take one of them out, the one that's kind of closest here, this is really annoying. Honestly, that's not good. That's really not good. And I'm kind of wondering whether it's it's maybe somewhere else that the problem is coming from. The whole point of having the modular stations is to make sure that you can actually do, do what you needed to do here. But I'm kind of wondering, the only place I can think the collision is coming from is this thing. See, it wants to do a bit of an upgrade here. Um, yeah, maybe it's this. Maybe it's this. Maybe what we do is let's well, let's still pause. Let's let's re let's redo this this section of road here. Well, let's demolish this and we'll redo this little section of road through here, which is not great, of course. I just want to make sure that we are running that 
pretty far from the from the station so if I do something like that and we then tie it in here that's okay I think we're still connected yes we're still connected I'm gonna do the other building piece over here and we're just gonna squeeze this back in here why does this now not want to work honestly I'm hoping that this is yeah that's picking up anyway doesn't that wouldn't have really mattered now let's try one more time if the platforms will now work now the platforms will work okay what I'm gonna do is then I'm gonna so it was that so something to bear in mind is that if you've got some kind of connection somewhere it might be a bit of a problem um, some kind of a road connection oh I don't want to do that I want to configure and add platforms to the mix here gonna do that okay and could do an extra one potentially oh, let's just get rid of this one as well too much too much that we have to do even though even though we are we are using modular stuff it's still a bit of a challenge I want to do that Okay, up to there let's do that and then platforms we will do one more platform piece over there and then I'm kind of tempted to do a cargo building can I do a cargo building oh no I'll have to do a platform first so let's do another little section of platform here and there maybe and we'll do a bit of a cargo building right on maybe the smaller one Let's just do that. There we go. So now we've got two, two, two platforms here for, well, one platform, but two, two train, train tracks for that. So, okay, let's quickly see how we're going to do that. So what I also think is going to be quite interesting now is that you're going to be able to run fairly complex um, rail pieces out of here. And I'm tempted that we... Um, now we're gonna run a little bit differently though, so we might not might not run it in that direction So this time around we might just run it straight across here And do a, a Little something like this instead. Okay, that's pretty good um, But we could do Just do a little something like this and then another little switch over there so now you could actually get into all of them now we want to run run it a bit straight over here now right so let's uh, let's continue it nice and straight over there that is gonna work quite well I think Ooh, we would potentially want to connect something of this up but we'll do that later we're not gonna do this now we are spending so much money now oh actually now we should be now we should be rolling since we're not trying to do weird stuff now okay we'll make that turn we'll come up here which side are we on we're on that side so uh but actually what i want to do before i do that let's quickly do this station as well let's add a new track over here please I think just the one for now is going to be fine and then what we'll do is we'll run we'll run that one out yeah I think that's what we're gonna do run that one down here let's try and give it a, a nice angle oh yeah we could probably even do it up to 120 like that and then we'll tie in here which will be good as well nice now let's run the other side Excellent, and we'll just kind of bring it all the way up here, um, even more, and then we'll just terminate it in there. Excellent, and now the thing that I'm interested in is to see if I can do this. Really, can I please do that? Pretty please, can I do that? Oh, it's really switched off. Okay, that's fine. Uh, ooh, we've got a little anyway what I want to do is if I do if I get rid of that oops that's not actually what I wanted to do 
I do that I can do this and then I should be able to to tie in like so yeah that should be fine and then I'll just tie that one in there excellent so now this depot can be used for all of these lines let's quickly um, add this line as well um, to here and that will be steel that will be the steel line uh, I mean machines machines sorry machines the machines line thank you so much now we need trains on all of these lines and we don't have tons of money okay so at least we've got it kind of sorted out now so this is how it kind of becomes spaghetti quite quickly over here the thing that I'm now kind of tempted to do is see how best we can actually tie in because we could also tie this line over into there we could yeah probably tie that one over into there and then we can run our passenger line through here also but this area will be quite congested so there might may, maybe merit in running the passenger line up here yeah it just feels like it gets really busy if we run parallel lines um, instead we should try and feed in as close as possible as to where we already are so potentially feed in up here and then just use that maybe we do some bypass tracks around the stations but then they can use that very same line to get to Jakarta as well so that is uh, I think how you would plan it out as best possible okay let's see we should be able to some more I think this is like a passenger vehicle which would be pretty cool to use okay we should start getting some trains up and running so let's uh, let's go to the depot we'll grab ourselves a train for so I'm thinking good tractive effort but nothing major right that guy some of these guys are way too expensive so we'll go with this guy we're gonna go with um, a nice brownish color <laughs> um, we will add it to the mix and then we're going to want to pick up logs right the steak car over here is the one for us so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16 17 that is a long train so that's the one that's what we're going to do that's pretty long we'll buy that vehicle and we will assign it to our jack logs line please head out there then we'll buy another vehicle this one is going to get bring the planks over so we might have to double up on some of these definitely might have to double up on them so we're looking at this guy we're gonna say that you're gonna bring well so you're gonna have a similar color I think yeah our colors are a little limited though so oops that's not what I wanted I want all thank you and this is the one we'll buy that one and now we're going to look into planks so it's the same stuff one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen that's the one we'll buy that as well and we will link that one to Jack Blanks and we need one over here I don't think we've got a steel line running just yet so steel is one that we need but we're running out of cash and these guys charge a pretty penny so we're not shipping anything at the moment uh, this guy is still doing its thing huh so we might have to start adding an extra bow to that mix so we'll, we'll see about that now let's quickly add this one to the mix over here geez it takes a lot of time to get all of this set up we're going to go with this class b yet again this time it's steel so let's go with a nice purpley color like that like blue steel um, we'll add that to the mix and now steel is on the stake card as well i believe or the flat uh, flat car with side stakes one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen uh, we can just about afford it and assign that to steel line steel thank you we shouldn't need multiple trains on those on this and that one we probably need multiple trains on that one it's a little far we should not need multiples on this one we might need an extra ship over there but yeah at the moment we need to start making money quite quickly 
Okay, let's see how all of this goes and then we'll end the episode. So yes, we've uh, neglected to work on our passenger stuff for now um, because we wanted to get more freight going on over here especially. This line isn't generating too much, but let's quickly see. It is kind of growing over here, but not a lot. We need to start uh, bringing them in some stuff here. Um, over here, it should be doing really well. 100% growth, but it has kind of stagnated. It could use more tools, so we probably need to get get our tools um, on, on the rail or something, at least bigger trucks. But yeah, generally we're making decent money from most of our lines here. How many people are we still seeing on these? Not a full load here. And on that one, also not. So our loads have dropped a little bit on these trains. And maybe it's because they are now so much quicker. So we're not getting that many people actually waiting around. This one, on the other hand, should generally be traveling full. No, it's empty. Well, not empty, but half. Oh, that was a nice big load over there. Good stuff, 1.6 million for that stop over there. So this guy should now do a good job as well. I'm hoping this guy has some steel on it. It sh should have started doing the steel thing straight away. Yes, absolutely. That's going to give us some money over here. Nice, nice. Oh, absolutely. Money is shooting straight up. So we should be able to start moving other things around. It's not too much cargo hub. At least 300 cargo items waiting at a train station. I'm not sure that's necessarily a good thing. And I am wondering whether it is it is generating uh, traffic from both sides or not. Might not be, guys. It might not just might be only getting from the one, but that might be enough for now. But I did want us to do do a better job at it. Okay, so that's working out. I think we're getting a fair bit of money coming in. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, please, please, please hit that like button if you are enjoying this stuff. Subscribe to the channel so and, and, and hit the bell notification icon so that you get notified when the next one comes out. See you next time. Bye-bye.